What's up everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Obix and today we're finally continuing Bloodborne. So on the last episode, which I finished with the same clothing because I finished it today, we finished all the dungeons that I could uh, complete for now. Uh, there's some more that I could do, the Sinister, the Cursed and Defiled, all those, but those are the optional of the optionals, they just offer some chances of getting some weapons and I don't need them. So yeah, right now, we the only thing we have to do is to either go to the DLC or continue the story. And that's what we're going to do. We're finally gonna enter the Nightmares. And for that, I have to come here. I don't know if you remember this area. This is next to the Cathedral Ward. It's the communication between the Cathedral Ward and Yargul. And I have to be grabbed by this amygdala. So that we can go on a nice little trip. All right. So now we are officially on the nightmare or close to it. I have to explore a bit around the area. I got to talk to patches. Uh, there's some notes on the platinum guide of things that I shouldn't do, should and should not do. So I'm gonna explore this building, go to the nightmare, but I'm not gonna face amygdala yet. Or amygdala, however you wanna call it. You are disgusting, patches. I can't wait to get into Dark Souls and find out how this guy is in those games. Because I know patches is a regular thing. I know he keeps showing up in different games, so... I'm pretty curious, because I know this is the only one that he has a spider body. Ah, uh, by the way, I changed my gems on the weapon. On the saw cleaver. It no longer deals fire damage, it's just physical damage. Because it went from dealing plus 49 to plus 70 something. So it's quite an extra damage. Um, and I also... I didn't tweak my runes. I still have the runes that give me more blood echoes. If I start facing someone who is more troublesome, then I'll tweak them. I really like the, the fire on the weapon though, so I might change it back again. But I'm hoping to get better fire gems. Madman. Holy shit. It is actually quite intriguing. I wonder why is it that when the amygdalas teleport you or when you touch the corpse of Mikolash, you don't go straight to the nightmare. You come to this lecture building first. What is the meaning of this place? Because it's like an in-between. You need to cross this building before you enter the nightmare. Why is it? Alright, so now I got everything. I got the key to open the theater, I got the student uniform, and I got the Ogre of Abriatus, which obviously I cannot use. Of course. Yeah, for those watching, uh, the Ogre of Abriatus is that thing that some NPCs use that summons a bunch of tentacles to hit me. And as you can tell by the name, those tentacles come from Abriatus. So even though Abriatus is a great one that was abandoned, there is still some sort of pact made with humans or whatever it is. There's a whole, a whole lore behind it, but I don't remember the specifics. <laughs> I 
All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nightmare Frontier. I wonder how a level 9 weapon is gonna do here. I hope well. Oh yeah! Prostate exam, motherfucker! That's Nightmare of Minces, right? I love the level design in this game. The way that you can see different areas from uh, from one to the other. Like you can be in one place and see another place that you've been through or you're going to next. I really like that little detail. These ones don't have vermin, which is nice. I was waiting for the worms to show up. Shit. No. The Bloodborne experience, ladies and gentlemen. The Bloodborne experience. Motherfucker. I wonder who came up with this shit. This place not only does not follow the normal logics of physics and whatnot. You have bloody graves. You have literal graves made out of blood and flesh. It's wild. From software's imagination is just wild. I believe there's some hunters here, right? Or is it on the other nightmare? No, it's here. I see you, motherfucker. Easy. Not a scratch. Waiting lake, okay.
I knew it was gonna happen and I still went for the fucker. This fucker is gonna force me to run all the way back when I had this right in front of me. Get fucked. Stunning deep sea, okay. Now I cannot go back. Fuck, I gotta go around. Alright. I will have to sacrifice the drip for now. Clear deep sea. Oh no, oh no. I do not want to deal with you yet. These fuckers have messengers inside them. Oh, that's so weird. I just lost 60,000 blood echoes. It's not that I mind, because I just use the blood echoes to buy blood vials, but still it sucks, because it would be more blood vials that I could buy. Let's just keep exploring, I guess. You know what, let's just get done with this. Come on, throw me off. I tweaked a bit the lighting, added an extra light to my side so I don't have so many shadows. I think it looks great now. Pick up the clockwise metamorphosis rune in the right part of the cave. Your patch. Where the fuck is the cave, dude? 
I'm tired of looking around. I don't know where the fuck is the cave. Is it this? Jeez. Now I gotta go past the Winter Lantern. Holy shit. so many little buggers here the ones that give bone shards ah oh, this is annoying because i have to kill them while i have the other guys attacking me Oh no. Oh, that was really close. Oh shit, I almost died. I think this is the last rune. Oh no, it's a messenger's gift, okay. Shit, dude, I am getting tired of dying to these fuckers. Holy oh, shit, dude. I'm really close to finishing this area, but it's so annoying that there's poison everywhere, the enemies attack me all at once and I die. I want to get done with this. There's just one more item that I need to pick up, I need to unlock the lift and then I'm done. with the music in the game and this fucker died but didn't leave any item behind finally I needed was here all along and I died here
fuck's sake. Alright everyone, so that's it for this nightmare for now. Um, I will not face the amygdala yet. First, we gotta go to the other nightmare. Interact with patches, do everything we have to do there, and then we'll go back. Hello, Mikolash. <clears throat> Alright. You got way more health, what the fuck? Is it because of my gems? Is it because I dropped the fire gems? Because I do miss the fire attack, to be honest. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna change the gems back to fire. Let's test my theory again. Yep, okay. Incredible. Like, on the paper, number-wise, my weapon is dealing less damage with the fire gems. But when I practice, when I actually face enemies, it's way better. The fire deals way more damage. So yeah, it was a mistake to change back to just physical damage. Now that I'm thinking about it, are these M Michael Ash's students? Because they have students' uniforms. They have student uniforms. They even have the graduating heads. And Mikolash was surrounded by a lot of people. A lot of humans with cages on their heads as well. So I wonder if these are their souls trapped on the nightmare frontier, I guess. I dodged. Why am I not dealing damage to you? Holy shit. This guy was tougher than some bosses, what the hell? Why did he have so much resistance? Alright, time to talk to this fucker. Sup you bitch. Motherfucker. So the part of the lecture building is done. I also unlocked the communication between the two floors. So now time for the other nightmare. Let's go. Oh, I think I just realized something. These fuckers are supposed to spawn vermin when you kill them. They are supposed to spawn two worms each. But I've been using a weapon that has fire gems and deals fire damage. I think that's why they are not spawning. It's not that the beasts don't have them. It's because I'm burning the worms alive before they spawn. I think that's it. Three stone chunks. Ooh. Rune, nice. The concept of frenzy is so interesting. For the longest time I did not understand what it was. I thought it was just some weird thing that they made up in the game. And technically it is, but if you think about it... The only creatures that induce frenzy, if I'm not mistaken, are in the nightmare. 
I'm trying to recall if there's any other creature that does frenzy. I think there are some on the main game, but most of them are in the nightmare. And you basically, when the bar fills up, while the bar is filling up, you see spears of blood coming out of your body. And then when the bar fills up, you get a, a chunk of your health taken away. The way I see it, it's basically like... You are exposed to such a level of madness. See, this one had the worms, but they didn't spawn. Okay, it's because of the fire. I remember reading or seeing some video explaining that. I totally forgot about it. Okay, having a fire gem equipped on the weapon is the best thing. Um, but yeah, basically, if you think about it, Frenzy is basically, you are exposed to such a level of madness that your own body starts wounding itself, starts hurting itself. It's your own blood that's, that is showing up. It's my own blood that is uh, puncturing through my body. It's my own blood that is hurting me. And when the bar fills up, a chunk of my health goes away. Because it's, it's such a level of madness that your own body starts going nuts at least that's the way i see it i don't know if there's an official explanation but it's quite an interesting mechanic it's quite an interesting thing that they created here for real for the longest time i needed chunks and i didn't have any or i i was lacking a few and i could not find any and now suddenly i'm giving so many of them It's time for spideys! Oh yeah! I am so excited for this shit. shit of course I don't deal much damage holy shit also whose choice was it to give them such small eyes it makes it so weird fuck I'm really close to the end of the game it's actually weird I did not realize how close I was to the end shit I am really close. I just gotta defeat Mikolash. Then Murgo. And then I'm already at the end. The Amygdala is not mandatory. The dungeons are not mandatory. So I'm really close to the end of the game. Damn, that's wild. If you think about it, so... There's this episode in which I'll kill Mikolash and Amygdala and Amygdala. Then there's the episode where I will kill hopefully Margot, German and the Moon Presence. And there's the episode Motherfucker. For fuck's sake. As I was saying before I died a couple hundred times, it's actually wild to think that I'm actually reaching the end of the game and I did not realize it before. I thought I still had plenty of episodes left, but nope, because today I'm going through the nightmares and hopefully I'll kill Mikolash and the Amygdala. Although the Amygdala might be quite a headache on itself, but hopefully I can do it. Then, after defeating the Amygdala, I'll go through the dungeons again. At least through the Lauren ones and the last of the Mero ones. That might give one or two more episodes. And then, it's the end of the game. I just gotta defeat Murgo, German, and the Moon Presence. And that's it. That's wild. That's actually wild.
Then I also have the DLC, of course. Interesting. If I were if I were playing online, there would be a maiden with a bell here. And because she were she would be ringing the bell, I would have people showing up, being summoned, and invading my world. Offline, it doesn't happen. Okay, I thought maybe there would be NPCs or something, but nope. There's a second one there. Oh shit! I know it's uh, I know the enemy that it is. Isn't there a shortcut nearby? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Alright, this... Oh no, it's the shortcut that goes... Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought it was another shortcut for a second. Okay, this is great. So, I'll go spend the Blood Echoes, maybe check the inside store as, inside store as well, and then I'll continue. This way I can dodge the spiders, finally. Actually, I'm just realizing the first... Every single time that I played the game before, I never used that shortcut. Because I would run through the spiders and then explore and eventually I got somewhere else, I think. I never used that shortcut to go face the hunter or anything. It was one of those shortcuts that I unlocked and literally never used. Now I understand what's the purpose. Oh, I'm gonna be able to parry him also. What the fuck? What is that damage? Holy shit, dude! I tried to dodge for fuck's sake. Fucking bastard! <sighs> and I get sedatives. Oh, I could have died. I could have just died there. I was really lucky. The concept of this area is so creepy. Like, I know it's a nightmare, every th nothing makes sense, but imagine having a building that suddenly a piece of the floor falls and you find a hole like this. How creepy would that be? Just die. Feel free. Now it's time for the real nightmare material. So, you know the crows and the dogs that are really annoying? Yeah, exactly. So now, you have crogs 
and th throws. <laughs> These are fucking cursed, dude. It's pretty funny the idea that the game is already so bizarre and has so much weird shit. But then they insert the nightmares and they're like, what if it was weirder? And just create these aberrations. These abominations of nature. Well... <laughs> Them. I turned this way out of habit. I forgot I didn't call the elevator. Here we have the shortcut, finally. There we go. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's Mikolash's area, okay. So I finally unlocked the shortcut to Mikolash. I'm gonna take a break, and then I'll come face him. Hello everyone, I'm back. It's finally time to wrap up this episode. And I say this in the most cocky and chill way possible, as if I'm not just gonna face two bosses. One of them is kinda chill, but the amygdala is gonna be a pain, I can tell. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Alright, let's do this. If only you knew that he was stuck here for so long that his uh, real world body died. Oh, fuck, I skipped the dialogue. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Okay, this doesn't do much damage. Sucks. Yes, I'm chasing him, but I don't care. I really don't want to face that star attack or whatever you call it. I just want to get done with him, so... I'm sorry, everyone. Easy. First try. <laughs> There we go! And I think these fuckers die as well, right? Oh. Oh. Yeah, the bridge is gonna move up. I thought the marionettes died once he died as well. I chased him because I really didn't want to get inside this place, be stuck against him and have to dodge those star attacks over and over. I know how it is, I've died many times to it when I had a lot of health and stamina. So I'm not ready to do the same thing now with half of the health. So yeah. Was it the easy way or the smart way? It's up to you to decide. Is this where I get to drop this fucker? Holy shit, it's... Well, this is not good. Let me run for it. I just realized I had a lot of blood echoes because I killed Mikolash. I totally forgot about it. I had 50,000 blood echoes. And I just lost them. Why the fuck does it have so much health? I don't think that's the way to make the... to get rid of the brain. So I think I'll continue exploring and try to get done with that first. Alright, so this is the last item that I need to pick up in this area. There's an elevator here. Okay. That's for a future shortcut. I believe this is the shortcut that leads me to the Brain of Menses. And I gotta fall here on the right spot. There we go.
I'm really running out of health, huh? Okay, at least I did this. At least I got rid of the brain. I paused the recording for a bit and I totally forgot to record again, but I just picked up the blood rock that was in the place where the eye was, <clears throat> where the brain of Messis was. So yeah, I can finally level up the sock lever to the last level. A little disgusting thing. There we go. You have so much health. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's gonna take forever to kill this thing. I'm just now realizing this is supposed to be a brain, but it's a brain made out of eyes and it looks like an eye. This would be where the optical nerve connects to the eye. Oh, this thing is foul. There we go. Took a fucking long time. I'll just run through. I got the frenzy resistances, so I won't die with the frenzy as quickly. Nice, I got all the tools. Ooh, nice. But that, I did not have any note about this. Ah, okay. Okay, because it's... Okay, I was basing myself on the part of Nightmare of Messi's Murgo's Loft base, and I'm already on the middle part. That's why. The guide splits it. Alright, so I officially found everything that is to find in... Um, in the Nightmare of Menses. It's officially done. So now I can finally go and face the Amygdala. I am not sure if I'm gonna face her today though. Like if I'm gonna be able to defeat her today, but we'll see. Alright. Before I go try to face Amygdala, I have some people that I have to kill. Namely, this witch. Thank you for your service. I know, my dude, I know. But I need your rune. Third umbilical cord. And Rihanna's shoes. I have two thirds of an umbilical cord, exactly, because the third one I'll get from Murgo. Alright. It's finally time to go face the amygdala. I am not hopeful about this. Can you actually see it? Can you see the amygdala? You cannot.
It does, okay. I'm just dealing 20 damage, what the fuck? Okay, the hands are the weak spots, okay. I tried to dodge, but it was too late. Of course, the head is the weakest spot. Nice! Holy shit! Oh, my heart is pumping, dude. I can't believe it was this easy. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. I, I really thought, okay, I'm gonna probably face a Miguel another day. I can already... I, I was already thinking to myself, I'm probably not gonna beat her now. It's gonna take a few attempts, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna get one shot easily, so I'll have to repeat another day. But no, it went really well. I just got one shot a couple of times without even trying anything. I had a couple of good attempts and then I actually did it. I'm... I'm dumb fucked right now. Holy shit. What the fuck? I can't believe I did it so easily. What the hell? Because I had the idea that Amygdala was actually kind of an easy boss. But the thing is, again, blood level 4. I thought I would get one shot very easily. That would be some surprise attack on a second or third phase that I wouldn't remember. Something like that. But no. Alright, so now I can finish the part of patches.
So I should go to the lecture building. Well, your god is dead, fucker. Fuck off, Patches. Alright. So now, Patches' quest is officially over, meaning he will disappear, and there is a slight chance that I might find him again on the dungeons. So that's it for the nightmares. Really. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? Alright everyone, so it is with the greatest smile ever that I complete this episode. I really cannot believe that I achieved the initial goal. I thought at some point something would happen. I would... I really thought Amygdala would not be beat today. I really thought I would have to try again another day. So I am really surprised that everything went smoothly. So yeah, with this, Mikolash and Amygdala are done for. They are dead. And so on the next episode, since I got the Lauren Chalice, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some more chalices. I'll explore the Lauren dungeons and the last of the Mero ones to reach the Yarnum Queen. And then we're basically at the end of the story, but we're still gonna push through the DLC first. So yeah, there's still a couple more episodes to come, but we're nearing the end of this series, which is insane. It's actually insane to think that I'm so close to the end of the game. And like I have so many games sitting on my shelf. I have the Dark Souls Saga 1, 2 and 3. I have God of Wars. I have Elden fucking Ring right there looking at me every single day. But I still want to go through so many games before I reach that one. But yeah, we're nearing the end guys. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching this episode. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.